Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Crazy Al Kane, sugarcane.com, CAC TV. Happy New Year. It's 2023 here at the Jetline. So far, the winter has been very hard on this spot. It's been getting beat up by the weather and by random people coming in. It's all very fixable uh, once we get into the spring. The spot is closed right now because it's way too soft and mushy. As you can see, people have been walking in here and making little ruts. So when that gets hard in the summertime, it's gonna be a problem to ride over us so when we make it real bumpy and stuff. It's always good to avoid hitting the spot in the wintertime when it's real moist because it'll cause problems when everything gets hard again. Yeah, the weather we had this uh, so far has been doing some pretty nice damage to the spot. But on the flip side, it's also real workable can uh, really manipulate the dirt and shape it the way you want to. So that's one of the good things about it being saturated. This stuff is pretty easily fixable at this point, but I probably won't work on that now because um, it's just gonna get messed up again by the weather. See, we got random people riding and it's really moist and wet in here. It's not a good time to ride, but people do not care nor pay attention to those facts. So as you can see, people walking up the lip and causing little footprints there. We still have leaves that came down after all that sweeping. So there's whole, all of that going on. But we also have things covered up over here. Thank goodness people didn't undo this. But so far, so good. People haven't really been messing around too much in here. But today's mission, since everything is saturated, is we're gonna fix this section of the line here. At least get it started. So one of my biggest problems with this section is you come around this, get around that you have so much speed when you hit this you over clear it we're gonna uh make that longer because right now it's too short if you go over it you have no speed to hit that one the proper way as long as you hit this right you can hit that but it's not where i want it to be as far as fun wise as far as flow wise it's not exactly where i want it to be so we're gonna make a major change over here starting with this becoming longer now i know a lot of people may oh man but i ain't gonna be able to clear it well that's called leveling up you have to level up the skills get the skills up so you can be able to get over it but the one cool thing is now you can come out of here full speed as opposed to having to slow down if you have the skill to get through here fast you won't have to slow down in order to hit this you'll be able to hit this full on how far should i make this i say about three more feet three feet longer at the very least which would bring it out to right about here which I think is a good distance, actually. Or maybe even a little bit more, just, just in case. But something out here would probably be the best. So that's the name of the game today. Make this longer, and uh, hopefully we'll be finished by the spring with that. I think so. Since this is not exactly how I want it either, we're going to use the dirt from this, and then we're going to bring it over there. And then, once this is done, and that's right and correct and all good, then we'll figure out what we're going to do here. It may be another jump, maybe a roller, who knows? In order to make this whole thing flow correctly and really be on point, this section has to get changed. So, with that being said, we're gonna get started deconstructing. Destroy and build, build and destroy. That's what we're gonna do. It's time. Time to start chopping away at this jump right here. I really like this jump, but like I was saying before, just don't get enough speed from here to get to there unless you make it longer which i could keep this lip for that but to make life easy for myself i can just take this dirt move it over there and then make something happen over here with some other dirt but this is the easiest dirt to get to and that's exactly what i need easy dirt to get to so i can make this happen it's a big project <music> I did make a little bit of a mistake. I started digging out the lip when actually I should be shaving this down. If I go lower and lower and lower, I still have a jump to ride after I'm done building that up. Regardless of how far down I go, I'll still have the formation of this jump. So even if it becomes a kicker type of jump, it'll still be a jump that I can easily 
make after I take the top off of it. So I'm just gonna dig down until I get this where I want it to be and wherever this is at, I can make it into a temporary jump or it might be a permanent jump, but it will definitely be something that you can hit afterwards. So remember a few months ago when I reshaped this and made it nicer and rebuilt it? Well, I'm actually going to destroy all of it now to build that guy over there. here is this is my line I need the top of this to come out this far so I made a little bit of a, a block to keep the dirt from sliding down and I have to build straight up all the way up to here with the dirt so it reaches all the way this way and then it's gonna slope down after that rising up still needs to go up another three or four feet but the extension is getting there the extension is getting there Phew. Okay, so far, this is what we got. Getting real close. It's gonna take a lot more bucket loads, but we're getting there. Nice little extension to make this longer, and hopefully this will make the jump a lot better. got my human bulldozer on <laughs> and made this 13 feet now it used to be nine maybe no it was like about yeah nine or ten feet long but now it's 13 feet long to this point right here but we have to add a landing which will probably extend it to about 14 or 15 feet 
which would be just perfect. I gotta fill this in to make this a little more slopey. Most likely I'll get the dirt from down here. That way it can give it more of a dip. Now the next thing I wanna do, <clears throat> which I'm probably gonna do now because as you can see, that landing is not wide at all. I have to build out to the right and I also have to build out to the left, which is gonna be a hassle. All right, party people, now it's 13 feet. It'll probably go a little longer once I finish the landing, but got pretty far today. One day work for work, got this thing extended by a lot, actually. Let's see, this is kind of like where it ended the last time. So I extended it, one, two, oh boy, three, about four feet. So I extended it about four feet than where it was. So now it's 13 feet long. Most likely when I finish this landing, it'll be 14 to 15 feet long because I uh, want to make the landing friendly so that way when you come down, you have a nice gradual landing. So that's what's got to happen, y'all. Other than that, started digging this down a little bit, stealing dirt from there to put it there. And right here, this thing changed a lot because I don't use all the dirt from here to make that. But this is gonna wind up probably being a nice little roller, actually a nice big roller. So when you come off of that, you can retain your speed, get a nice big pump out of this. Like one of those rollers where you can kind of scuff over it. Then you come down into this turn and you're out. Latest. Everything else will probably be a lot easier coming out of this section really fast. Most likely I'll have to build the berm up a little more on this part so if i can make that part a little bit taller that'll probably help out a lot plus if i dig down a little bit in there you come in and you they really make the berm hug you and that's pretty much it yo so until next time it's crazy alkane sugarcane.com cac tv make sure you come subscribe to the youtube channel or come to sugarcane.com where you can see all kind of goodies you know bike of the day you can see all kind of new articles about bmx hip-hop comics life all that good stuff and also check out the store on sugarcane.com we got a bunch of t-shirts hats bmx frames all that good stuff so come to the sugarcane store on sugarcane.com help support the site and that's pretty much it. So back to you, Billy. Oh, happy new year. And back to you, Billy. One.